people, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I have a whole list of things that I would like to get done. You know how it works. I have expectations. Hardly are they ever met. But we can try our best, right? That's all we can ever do is our best. So today it's just like a whole bunch of stuff that I need to get done around the house. Laundry, fridge, water? What does that mean? I want to wipe down some of the walls, uh, especially in the hallway. I've noticed they're like a little grimy, some doorknobs, a general tidy up. My sink, I noticed yesterday, it used to get so clean because I would bleach it every now and then. I haven't done that in a while, so I need to like scrub, scrub. I want to prep some waffles and pancakes and or snacks. I don't know, for the kids in the morning, I feel like I never know what they want to eat, but they always want waffles, but I hardly, ra I rarely have waffles. I figured I'd kind of get my life together. That's the theme. That's really the theme of my life, but especially the theme of today. Oh my gosh, speaking of the theme of today, this video is sponsored by KiwiCo. Huge thanks to them for supporting my channel, supporting me. Huge thanks to you for continuing to support me when I have sponsored content. I really appreciate it. I'll share more about them in a little bit, but I just wanted to put that out there. Slash needed to. <laughs> I also need to tidy up the front door area. We've got a lot happening over there. It needs to be not a lot happening. Refill some jars in my laundry room and then also a general tidy up in the laundry room area. It's just like a disaster zone every time I open those closet doors. The garage door is disgusting, so I need to wipe that down. Entry drawer, oh my gosh, now the list is getting way too long. The shoe cabinet, I need to tidy that up. Amazon returns and Target returns probably won't happen today, but I, I mean, that's been on my list for probably two weeks. I have a problem. I always have a really hard time for whatever reason returning Amazon stuff because I have to go to Kohl's. I'm sure there's another way I can do it. I don't know. And then also going to the post office. I don't know. I feel like I can never get those two things done. Oh my gosh. And our AC went out yesterday. It's like Newton's law where the AC goes out only when you have extra people over your house. So hence this weird bun that's going on. I try, I can't even take myself seriously. So it's whatever. It's keeping the hair off of my neck and hopefully preventing me from sweating. But we all know that's not gonna happen. Funny story, Alex and I, like the AC's off right now and I'm like, it's not so bad. Alex and I used to never run our AC. Like we were that cheap. We lived in a snowy climate, never ran our heat. We moved back to Florida and we were like, we lived with that it will be fine we went a whole year without running our AC in the Florida heat I I know yes it's crazy like we were cheap when I say we were I mean we weren't like Jordan Page let me ask my neighbors for food cheap but <laughs> we were cheap anyway uh, this video is sponsored by KiwiCo uh, if you don't know KiwiCo has fun and enriching science and art projects they're defining the future of play by making it engaging, enriching, and seriously fun. The crates are designed to expose kids to subjects in STEM, which stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. So each monthly crate is designed by experts and tested by kids and teaches a new theme through hands-on learning and fun. KiwiCo offers eight crates subscription lines and each is catered toward a different age group with different topics and interests ranging from ages zero to 99. Meredith is my one-year-old and she absolutely adores her panda crate and I've seen some of my friends on Instagram get a maker crate and have some really amazing projects. The crates are so great because they come with all the supplies that you need for that month's project and they also have detailed kid-friendly instructions and even a magazine filled with content to learn even more about the crates theme and I love the KiwiCo crates because it allows my kids to do something fun and engaging and creative but it's also screen free and it keeps them busy for a really long time I'm talking hours and hours some of the crates come with multiple projects and they're also learning the skills to problem solve, innovate, and create. And in doing so, they're creating the foundation to change the world, you guys. That's what kids are here for. That's their mission in life, to change the world. KiwiCo ships to more than 40 countries, so if you're interested in KiwiCo, you can get 50% off of your first month of any crate if you go to kiwico.com slash the wads. My link will be in the description box below. If you've heard me talk about it for a few months now, I encourage you to check it out and see what it's all about. And maybe just try one crate out. We've given KiwiCo crates as a gift and it is always well received. So if you try it out, let me know which crate you ordered. 
Don't forget to use my description box in the below. In the below. All right, so before we get started on the rest of the house, I need to throw something in the crock pot or at least get some type of thing planned for dinner tonight. I think my dad's coming over for dinner tonight. So, I mean, he eats whatever and I have to make dinner every night. So, and he's just one person and it's no big deal. But, uh, you know, I am a mom and I need to make sure that dinner is ready. Uh, do you guys ever have decision fatigue when it comes to making dinners? I mean, it's like so fun. Let me see if I have anything in my freezer. Come on. I don't even want to show you the rest of my kitchen because it is a complete oh my gosh hold on let me I shared this on Instagram but I might as well share it with you too you know how Trader Joe's is known for these uh, crinkle what are they even called Danish crinkle oh it's not even crinkle it's cringle well I know nothing that's not news baked fresh daily the heck anyway here it is will you get a load of that um, do you know how much I ate this morning this much <laughs> It's a problem. Trader Joe's is famous for them for a reason. So let's see what I have for dinner, shall we? I know I have some freezer meals and uh, let me see, banana pepper shredded beef, red pepper chicken. Oh, citrus chicken could be a winner. Spicy beef curry soup. All of this sounds good. Ooh, ow! Well, I picked one out, but it's beating me up. Got it. Want to know what the winner is? garlic mint pork loin because i need something refreshing in my life right now oh my gosh i got a real cut on my hand i'm halfway bleeding all right i just ran it under the water for a little bit to loosen it from the bag just gonna pop it right in there Ooh, look at that holy crap it smells good mm, do i have to add anything Guess not, all right, I'm just gonna pop a lid on that and let it go. If you haven't seen uh, where I made those 10 dump and go freezer meals, I'll link it below, it's a good video. Welcome to my entryway. It's kind of just always a disaster here and I feel awful because this is where you, you know, guests first arrive. This is their first impression of my home and ah, oh, this carpet, ugh. Let me just give you a good before shot, okay? Just so you know what we're working with over here. Oh my gosh, I can't even. And then that up there. <laughs> I mean, it's a problem. That cauldron has been out since uh, March 2020. That's where we hold our masks. And before then, it was out from the previous Halloween. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I have a really big problem like with decor pieces. I just, some things I like, and so I keep them out, and they it doesn't make any sense. Also, I didn't decorate for fall this year, really. I mean, I did a little bit over here, but hardly anything. So do you decorate for fall? I, I follow this one Instagram account where she always puts polls up. Well, hold on, now I'm getting off track. Remind me to talk more about that. I wanted to show you my rug. Okay, let's say I'm a guest. This is what I'm walking into. Ooh. Uh, believe it or not, I just cleaned this rug. Believe it or not. And then I thought, oh, you know what? Maybe, because I've kind of been in the market for getting a different rug, maybe a runner or something. But then I just keep thinking, you know, well, you know, if we move anytime soon, I have to decorate for our future house and I'll just live in squalor until then. <laughs> All right, well, what else was I talking about? Oh, the poles. Okay, speaking of, so I follow this account on Instagram and they put up polls. People ask, you know, random questions. One of those questions was, do you decorate for fall? And sometimes I'm completely surprised by the answer. And I, I keep thinking about making a podcast, just talking about the types of questions that are up there. And then you get like a feel of what the general public, just a mishmash of all kinds of different people, what the consensus is. So 84% or something like that of people say, yes, they decorate for fall. What? I thought, okay, okay, hold on. There's a lot going on. Most of these are grocery bags. I have a problem. Okay, I'll put all the grocery bags here. I try to keep the grocery bags in my car. That way, um, it doesn't cause a bunch of clutter right here. Half, 90% of that was just my grocery bags. Oh wait, this is a grocery bag too. Okay, okay so 100% of that were, was just grocery bags. What was I saying? I have a sister-in-law and she decorates for every season. Like she is that person, Hobby Lobby is her second home and she's amazing about it. So I thought that was the exception. I didn't realize that was the norm. You know what, these are all returns too. 
I'm gonna put that right here. Uh, along with like YouTubers and stuff, you know, YouTubers, they decorate for, you know, fall and August. It's cool, it's cool. It just means that they are those type of, of people and I'm just not. I'm not. And that's okay too. Maybe some days I am, but most days I'm not. The, Alex actually got this diaper bag. Now I'm talking too much. Got this Eddie Bauer First Adventure diaper bag from a garage sale. He, he can find a garage sale Wednesday, 4 p.m. Just driving around, that's his luck. But I can go out looking for garage sales Saturday, 9 a.m. and find zero. <laughs> Basically sums up my life. All right, well, it looks like we cleaned this up. Hats, hats. Reflecting belt, done! Six seconds to paradise, I've got. This is either a Chick-fil-A french fry or a walnut. I found it on the ground. It's really only one way to find out. Chick-fil-A french fry. Mmm, it's old. You might think, ooh, yes, that looks great. But then, if you look at the floorboards, Meredith got a hold of my mascara. It's so fun having toddlers. And the floorboards are just real gross. I mean, it's our entryway, you know? So this is where all the dirt comes in the front door. So I'm just gonna wipe that down real quick. Also, the playroom is a mess, because I told you yesterday we had uh, some people over and they just dumped out all of the toys. But there's also, I don't know if you can see, whatever this is, boogers? <laughs> I don't really know. Most likely it's chapstick or sunscreen or something else, but that need that. It basically describes my life, crusty. So. I honestly, like I have no idea why I put these gloves on. I think I'm trying to channel the cleaning gurus, the Joanna Thornton, the Jamie's Journey, the, who else does it? There's so many of them. Beastins, Bits of Brie. Oh my gosh, it's turning purple. What is this? Some kind of toxic sludge. This whole door is nasty. You know, I probably should have a cleaning channel. My house has plenty of filth. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, this is gross. Do the cleaning gurus ever deal with stuff like this? No? Okay. I just clean it with my tears. This rag is sucking. You know what my favorite part of cleaning is? When it's done. You can just sit back and everything smells good and everything looks good. When you enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay, I don't know what the heck that was. I think I got it, most of it off. Well, I guess not. It's turning purple again. All right, I'm just gonna wipe down the rest of the door. Good as new. My dad's gonna come over and he's gonna be like, did you get new doors? The funny part is literally no one is going to notice. Next is the mascara. This should come up pretty easy because it is washable. Comes off my face easy, you know. Ooh, look at that. It's like I have new floors over here. Let's see if it'll come off the rug here. Oh my gosh, basically brand new. Um, I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready to open a cleaning service. All right, let's attack these baseboards now. I love it when my uh, cleaning bottle makes that popping sound. Ooh. Oh my gosh, Kim, did you get new baseboards? Nope, I just took 10 seconds to wipe them down. <laughs> Is there a cleaning company where you can like hire someone and instead of just coming over and cleaning like when you're gone, they come over and like clean with you and like keep you company and stuff? I mean, I guess that's what all these uh, cleaning gurus do, right? It's kind of the same thing, except for your house doesn't get clean in the process. You have to do 100% of the work. Okay, there's that. Smells good, feels good, looks good. That's subjective, but that's good enough. I'm trying to peel up this uh, painter's tape right here. <laughs> okay, here is the true after. Good enough. Well, 10 seconds in and I am already sweating. I really think it's just these gloves trapping in all my body heat. I'm using non-toxic cleaning stuff, so I really don't know why I'm wearing it. Whew, okay, here's all the makeup that Meredith found in my bag. So I'm just gonna throw it back in there. Uh, she is a scoundrel and a half. She gets into all of my makeup. Well, now that I'm looking in this drawer, I'm wondering if I actually want to clean it or not. I guess I should just do it, right? Just do it. Ooh, let's light a candle though. That's one thing that always makes your house feel cleaner than it is, if it smells good, right? Ooh, the ambiance of a lit candle. Well, speaking of candles, gosh, this is such a small drawer, but there's so much squeezed in there. So I'll give you a little before shot of it. 
Uh, yeah, speaking of candles, there's a few in here. By the way, got these from the Target Dollar Spot. They are terrible. They smell like nothing. If you like the look of a lit candle, but very little smell, would recommend. Three bucks. Ooh, crisp apple. Where's this one? Mm. Ooh, what else is this? Cinnamon, apple, and oats. I just have a bunch of lids in here. <laughs> Cinnamon apple and oats is like my all-time favorite DW fall scent. So good. Honey and neroli for summer. But I recently found the honey and neroli candle and my TJ Maxx. I looked all summer for it. Couldn't find it. Finally found it uh, in fall. So maybe it is a fall scent. I don't know. So many masks. Oh, there's masks everywhere. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if All right, I here's the after looks pretty nice let's check out the drawer definitely looks better i just took out all the masks and there was a small handful of garbage oh my gosh that gunk <gasps> is it glue you know that purple glue oh that's got to be what it is oh i need to wash my hands anyway do you guys remember selling <laughs> oh my gosh i just remembered a meme do you remember selling this chocolate in like middle school high school holy crap what's that meme all right now i'm gonna have to look it up Oh my gosh, here it is. Interviewer, do you have any sales experience? Me. <laughs> How funny is that? Isn't that amazing? Oh man, world's finest. Yeah, I can tell you right now, that is an absolute lie. Oh, we got dark chocolate. Alex just wanted to help out a neighborhood kid. I said, just give him five bucks and tell him to keep the chocolate. <laughs> I guess instead, he got the least likely to sell chocolate the dark chocolate so we actually have a few more bars in our cupboard so do you want some all right kim's cleaning service is entering the laundry closet at first you might think wow kim how did this get so bad but then really look at it like it's not that is it that bad scale of one to ten <laughs> All right, it's pretty bad. Like, why do I have a sand bucket in here? I've got some cheesecloth in here. Oh, a snorkel? Yep. Also, I don't know if you noticed, <laughs> I tried to hang that Ikea bag holder, and it just, I uh, didn't end up correctly doing it. Let me deal with this, be right back. Ooh, look at me go. Oh, wow. All right, look, I'm making progress already. I can get all my grocery bags minus the filler and just put them right in here. This has been my dream for probably two years. Why do I put little tasks like this off? Like this took me like four seconds to do. Yet I put it off. Instead I've had this bag just dangling down there for five years thinking it was good enough, but it wasn't. It wasn't good enough. I mean, it was good enough, but you know. Oh, a bag of socks. Oh, we love a good bag of socks. Nat. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm making so much progress in no time at all. I'm gonna put this, most of this stuff goes in the kitchen, BRB. Oh wow, that leaves candle, I can tell you right now, it smells, so it's been lit for probably five minutes. It's wafting throughout the entire house. I mean, Bed Bath & Body Works, almost said beyond. Really knows what they're doing. Okay, how do I connect this? Look at that. Look at that. I know I said it like seven times, but why did I put that off? Look, it already looks 500 times better. There, This was completely cluttered, just full of crap. Kim's cleaning service at your service. I need to come up with a better jingle than that. Come on. Took some time, but we pointed out. That tomorrow isn't here right now, baby An absent mind came to roam around Captured you in a foggy cloud, baby Standing on my toes on the edge, I'm ready to go I see it clear when the shadows are lit, I'm ready to go
finished. Doesn't it look great? I mean, better than before is really. Don't even remind me that that is in there. I have about seven loads in my bedroom right now. But I found some CLR and that reminds me to clean up something in the kitchen. So let's head there. Welcome to my fridge and more specifically my water dispenser where all my hard water gathers. Right here in the bottom. I used to clean it with um, shower head cleaner because it's like a hard water stain remover which worked great until I ran out of it and I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, Tim, that is crazy. Do you shower with a helmet on? <laughs> nope, we just have hard water and we deal with it. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit. That was actually pretty magical to watch. I'm gonna let that do its thing. It says to let it sit for two to three minutes. I always try to read the directions on the back when I use the new cleaning product. So we'll see how well this works. So far, so good. While we're here, don't forget to hydrate. It purifies the soul. All right, well, I wasted three minutes of my life uh, doing Instagram. Looks like it broke up most of the hard water down there, except for like the really tough spot right here. I might get a, uh, like a toothbrush or something, hold on. You know, I've seen some of the cleaning gurus have some crazy looking tools. I'm just not at that level, so I'm just using an old toothbrush. Not working out very well. All right, next up. Oh yeah, that works. You know what, my Alex, my Alex, his go-to tool for just about everything is a butter knife. Not a screwdriver, nothing. He's always like, can you give me a butter knife? <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Can you give me a butter knife? Look at that, look at that. Who needs a $200 cleaning tool when you have a butter knife. Kim's cleaning service at your service. It's as good as new. Ooh. Oh my word. Look at that. Look at this. Holy shnikey. She's beauty and she's grace. She's Miss United States. Look at that. A little in the corners here. I could probably scrub a little more. But all in all, I mean, it looks 1,000% better than it did. Yeah, I am 5,000% happy with that. Moving on. So I don't know what happened down here. Normally it's okay. I have a lot of pillowcases that uh, need stuffing pillows but for the most like why is there a hanger down here the hair bows everything just drops to the ground and people don't know how to bend over in my house so there's that oh some slippers in here that's cool all right see all it takes is like four seconds to tidy up it doesn't have to look good it just has to look better <laughs> that's what i tell myself Anyway, I had these in my laundry room and I figured, well, I can't just leave them on the floor because that's what I did. I threw, I put, put them on the floor. I don't really have a place for these. I'm gonna find one right now. Oh, would you look at that, an empty basket. And it's a perfect fit. It's a match made in cleaning heaven. Boom. Kim's cleaning service at your service. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, Kim, what the heck happened to your wall? Uh, kids, remember before when I said uh, I can't have anything nice? I'm pretty sure I tried to clean this multiple times, but I'm not sure if I ever used a magic eraser. Yeah, it looks like nothing's coming off. I don't know what that is, man. I'm gonna guess permanent marker. Hairspray, isn't that something I can use to get permanent marker off? Because this magic eraser is not working its magic. I'm just going to use rubbing alcohol. That seems to always do the trick for me. Hopefully, oh yeah, it's starting to come off, right? Wait, what a magician say? Abra could do, click Kim's cleaning service at your service. <laughs> Look at that. I feel like it is kind of taking the paint off of the wall as well, but that's kind of good as new, you know? All right, let's try this one over here. Alakazam. What is it that magicians say? Oh yeah, it's definitely taking the paint off. Oh, that's fun. That's real cool. Oh, it's like really awesome. <laughs> so what's worse, having uh, chipped paint or having permanent marker on your wall? I'm not sure. 
Ooh, this one came off like a dream down here. Look, there's even more in here. Little scoundrels. All right, well, we chipped some paint, but overall from afar, it looks better than having like bright blue and pink and purple, maybe? Welcome to my garage door with, I what is this, Easter decor? There's a prop, I told you I don't decorate for seasons anymore. It's just so much effort. Maybe next year. I can't even keep my doors clean, okay? Here are the skeletons. Some of you may be cringing, some of you may be expecting this and thinking, yeah, we knew you live in squalor, Kim. Take a look. I try to clean these doors as often as I can, but sometimes it gets away from me. Look how dirty. I mean, they're coming in from the outside. Everyone's grabbing it. So I'm just gonna wipe it down real quick. There's no shame in having some dirty things around your house, as long as you clean them eventually. No judgment from me. I know, life gets busy. And cleaning a door tends to fall to the bottom of the list. <laughs> and honestly, I mean, that's when Kim's cleaning service comes in handy. Welcome to the playroom, AKA dumping ground. Uh, there were a lot of kids over playing yesterday. So I'm uh, also, I was playing Barbies with Meredith this morning. It's really not too bad. Uh, I'm just gonna tidy up the toys a little bit and then walk on out of here. Cause I feel like as soon as people walk in, I could close the doors, but then it feels like tight. So I like to leave them open. And then, you know, if they look in here and it's semi-tidy, it, it makes the rest of the house feel semi-tidy. So all it takes is just a few minutes each room. Welcome to my bathroom. Uh, I just opened this and I knew it was a mess under here because it, okay, I'm gonna blame Meredith for this one. She goes through my drawers. I don't even really use my drawers anymore. I put all my stuff on the counter so it's out of her reach. Well, I'm just waiting for the day that she outgrows that stage of like getting into everything. But for now, I feel like I just need to tackle this in the meantime. I don't need, like why do I have a floating basket down here? Oh, let me just show you a before shot, really. I'm gonna set the timer for 15 minutes. I feel like that's all I need to just go through this really quickly. There's not a ton of stuff in here. And when I say there's not a ton of stuff in here, I mean the opposite. There is a ton of stuff in here, but not a ton of stuff that I actually need. So this carpet, Alex got me, it's great, whatever, but Every time Meredith would get into something, oh, let me show you the most recent thing that she got into. <laughs> so every time she would get into something, it would spill on that and then stain it and it just looks terrible. Oh, she got into this. I thought it was out of her reach. Turns out it wasn't. And this happens to all my makeup. Every single thing I own, she opens and spreads everywhere and then whatever. I feel like don't have a contour palette anymore because that's it. Oh my gosh, Bob Ross! I forgot about these Midnight Breeze. I'm gonna put one of these in my car. Oh, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a um, like curl my hair with me for date night one time. It was great, uh, but it only lasted like 15 minutes. I don't know, guys. I used to curl my hair all the time. Maybe I'll try again sometime. I don't know. I mean, I'm not getting rid of it, that's for sure, because last time I decluttered both, I had two sets of these because my hair's so long I typically use two sets. Or well, when I say typically, I mean when I was in high school and actually had time and cared about curling my hair and it would stay all day. So I know it's possible, I just don't remember what I did to make it stay all day. I digress. Last time I decluttered both of them, then I went to a wedding, wish I had something to do something with my hair, and I didn't, so I'm gonna keep that for now. This is actually like a labyrinth. Oh my gosh, I was hoping I still had this, because you know what? Meredith also got into my cream, my face cream. It keeps my eyes from getting like super crusty. Uh, I love this, and I knew I had one, I just couldn't find it. There it is. You know what's frustrating? I bought this and it like barely does anything. But I threw the box away so I can't return it, but also I don't want it. I just don't want to give it to anyone else because it barely works. So what do I do? Look what Wentworth made. A nice project, but what am I gonna do with this? 
Are you the type of person who has a bunch of stuff in your life and you're like, oh, I'm going to use that or I use it every now and then so you keep it around or do you just get rid of it? Like I rarely blow dry my hair and when I say rarely, I mean maybe twice a year. But when I do, it's nice to have a blow dryer or you know what's even better when I have someone over who wants to use a blow dryer. I'm like, oh yeah, I have one. I don't know. Is it worth it to keep that kind of stuff around? Oh, look, Crest White Strips. Maybe I should whiten my teeth again. Right now I'm standing in the corner I see you from across the room It's kind of crowded here But I know you see me too Everybody's singing oh Everybody's singing oh I don't know what it is about you It must be in the way you move Just say you want me to We've got nothing to lose You're looking so old You're looking so old Now I'm moving closer to you And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you, let me love you The motto for Kim's cleaning service is good enough, and that's exactly how I feel about under the sink. It's good enough. Now I'm just gonna take a few minutes and tidy up my desk. I feel like 70% of the stuff here doesn't belong here. Like these are Eleanor's earplugs. My earrings are here, some slime, that's cool. And then a bunch of stuff that goes in the kit. So I'm just gonna carry it all out and where it belongs and be on my way. Isn't that what cleaning is all about? Cool. Everything else I feel like belongs here just fine. So I'm just gonna give it a wipe down. Let me actually look at my list and see what the progress I've made. This is the most satisfying part about making a list, isn't it? Crossing stuff off of it. Ooh, it feels so good. All right, we have a couple things left, but all around not too bad. I have no idea what this pink stuff is. Oh my gosh, that reminds me. This picture frame reminds me. I ordered some pictures from CVS. Gosh, so I am going to pick them up and then uh, fill some picture frames with them. They're family photos that we got taken last November, which can you even believe it was almost a year ago? Uh, I printed a bunch out. I had a whole plan to get these massive 11 by 14 no 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 14 by 20 whatever they were 16 by 20 prints i printed them out spent an arm and a leg and then like slowly one by one the frames that i bought broke which i also feel like what like they broke before i even really put them up so should i return them but also, can I return something that's broken? So I didn't return them. I'm pretty sure I pitched them. They might still be sitting in my room. I don't remember. But that sounds like something I would do, <laughs> leave something broken in my room. Anyway, so we have no pictures from that really around our house. So I'm gonna throw some up and that'll make me feel like I got something accomplished. And oh my gosh, speaking of chocolate, I was just thinking, what was I talking about before the pictures? I don't remember. But Meredith and I recently went to a bridal shower I shared on my Instagram and we won this. It was one of those games where like you have to guess how many things are in the jar. Are you good at those? I used to not be good at those, but now I feel like I win every one. So I'm pretty much a pro, although it could just be luck. Lady luck. If you guys have ever seen Tim Robinson, you get me. Lady luck. Or maybe you don't, and that's okay too. All right, a quick wipe down, and we're on our way. Oh, did you think all the clean clothes I had were already on my bed? Uh, no, they're right here in the basket, and this isn't even all of it. There's some in the dryer. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hold on. Okay, so I'm going through my phone and seeing all the questions that I saved from that account that I told you. So one of the questions was, do you feel like all the parenting advice actually clouds your own judgment? 70% of the people said yes. Can we just agree not to give unsolicited parenting advice to people? 
that's what I tell people all the time when they ask me. I'm like, you will find your own way. You can like maybe listen to what other people do and then take what works for you. But eventually you'll find what works for you and your family and you'll find your own rhythm. Another question was, do you think it's important or even expected for grandparents to help babysit? And I thought the answers would be flip-flopped. 75% of people said yes. And 25% said no. I was the part of the no. Important or even expected for your grandparents to babysit. What? Expected? I don't know. Maybe it's because we don't have any help from family or anyone. So, you know, maybe that's why I have certain thoughts about it. But can I tell you something? If someone helped babysit me without wanting pay, Oh my gosh, would I have so much gratitude for that. I wouldn't expect it. I think in general, having expectations for things, like that's where anger starts. That's got to be where the anger starts, right? Because if you have expectations and the other person doesn't fulfill them, then you start to resent them. But it's not their fault that you have the expectation on them. I don't know, 75% of people expect their grandparents. So I'm curious because I, you know, I shared before that my, our family wasn't involved at all. And you know, Alex and I just have each other. We have to lean on each other a lot. And a lot of you agreed with me. You said, oh my gosh, thanks so much for sharing. I completely sympathize with you because we're in the same situation. So now that leads me to think, oh my gosh, 75% of people expect their parents to babysit their kids. Anyway, so I'm wondering, can you tell me, if you've made it this far in the video, would, do you slash would you expect your parents to babysit? Now I'll tell you something. When I'm a grandparent, I will babysit my grandkids 1000%. So in a way, I kind of understand the question because I hope that my kids expect me to babysit. I hope they don't have the expectation where they're upset if I don't or I'm busy or whatever, but I hope that I'm able to be there for them in that way. But I think in general, like just in life with a lot of things, my expectations are very low for other people. For myself, <laughs> I set very high expectations. But I think in general for other people, my expectations are very low. And if they actually do something or whatever, they go above and beyond, then I'm so grateful and so thankful and surprised and amazed, et cetera, et cetera. But man, that one really caught me off guard. And there's a ton of questions like that that I like screenshot and save in my phone. And it's just amazing to get a different perspective on things. But anyway, how the heck have you guys been? Oh my gosh, are these washed or were these just placed on the bed? These are so gross and dirty. I hope you guys are having a nice September. September is kind of lully. Like there's not much that goes on during September, right? It's just kind of like back to school season and getting in the swing of things. All those after school activities. Do your kids do any after school activities? Oh my gosh, because my kids are, I feel like so busy every day. Not every day. We have two days of the week that they don't do anything, but every other five days a week, someone does something. But also I have a lot of kids, so <laughs> there's that. And that includes weekends, but it's just a busy season of life, you know? Especially when I look at this pile of laundry. Busy season for sure. Do you, okay, that was another poll. Do you guys uh, do all of your laundry in one day? day like one bulk a day like this was washed through a few days but I fold it mostly on one day in my mind I think oh I'll get to one load a day and that's like the dream but it never happens but the poll was do you do it you know all in one day or one day at a time you do like one load a day and the majority of people do one load a day <laughs> So they basically have their life together and I don't. But you know what? I do the best I can and that's all I can do. So I'm just gonna fold all of this laundry up. The kids are about to come busting in that front door from school. And then we'll move along with the rest of our day. I bet you think that I should calm down And that I'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are mm -hmm. But I don't know that much about you What things you like and what you don't It's not that long Since I met you 
you for the first time We should work it out, you know we should work it out Before I'm too invested, I should probably ask ya Ask you all my questions, get to know you better Why can you be trusted, will you take me for credit and Will you lock me down? I know I feel it's something for ya Finished 90% 90, 90 of the laundry. There's still some in the dryer. The kids will get to it, and then that's like socks and undies and stuff like that. I'll have the kids deal with that. I've done plenty. I'm gonna head to the kitchen. I guess. just opened the crock pot, and oh my gosh, it smells absolutely amazing. The lime juice, the mint. Oh my gosh, is it finished cooking? I hope so, man. We're ready to eat dinner. Um, I'm just gonna take out the loins and give them a little chippity chop. You know what? I'll give a little taste test. It smells so good, I can't even explain it to you. Mmm, the onions, the mint, the lime. I don't know what else is in it. I have potatoes going. I'm gonna make mashed potatoes with some dairy-free cream cheese and dairy-free butter. Oh, and then some oat milk over here. Just mix it all together. I also made some gravy and green beans in the microwave. Just a little bit of salt and pepper and they are delish. Super simple dinner. Potatoes are finished. I just drained them. And that's like half a stick of butter and, I don't know, a quarter cup of cream cheese. A little bit of salt and pepper. Make it taste good. And then just a little bit of oat milk or any kind of milk that you have. I didn't test to see if the potatoes are done. But at this point, it doesn't matter. We're ready to eat, so I'm not going to like cook them longer. You know, I cooked them for 10 minutes on high pressure. I feel like I'm pretty notorious for undercooking things in the Instant Pot. Everyone says how easy the Instant Pot is, but I've had a completely different experience with mine. So I made a little appetizer tray. Mm, and I made a salad. Just some veggies, like leftover veggies that we had. Some peppers, some cucumbers, lettuce. Oh, uh, celery's in there too. Celery will give it a nice flavor. And then some of this Italian dressing. This is my favorite olive garden Italian dressing. Maybe some feta cheese if that's your thing. So I totally forgot that I meant to clean uh, the drain of the sink. It looks worse in real life if you can believe it. I'm gonna use this Dawn power wash everyone raves about. You know, we'll see if it actually does anything. Normally I would just use my, I don't know, literally any cleaner and then some elbow grease. You think that's enough? All right, it's been sitting for a while. I'm just gonna scrub. Uh, I feel like it didn't do anything. Oh, but you know what? It is kind of discolored. Ooh, maybe it did do something. Or do I need to go get the butter knife? Really, it's mostly down here too. I need to like scrub down here because these were looking pretty gross. Oh, you know what else I have? That um, that bar, bar cleaner's friend or something that everyone raves about. Ugh, see how gross that is? All right, let's give it a rinse. Okay, now I'm gonna try this Barkeeper's Friend. It's a soft cleanser. Whoa, is that too much? I've used this on pots and it works like a dang dream. I don't know, does it look any different to you? Maybe a little bit. Anything you do is better than nothing at all. It's the next day. It may be two days later, I don't know. I wasn't technically, where am I going? I wasn't going to uh, film me doing this. I just thought, nah, they know what I'm gonna do. Wow, my light is out in my hallway. Two light bulbs up there, both out. Those are good. Guess I need to buy some light bulbs. You guys, okay, so I finally went to CVS and I got our uh, family pictures printed, just a few of them. Oh, it's in the frame and it looks so pretty. Oh, it 
look so pretty. I'll show you a close up of that. But then this one over here, hold on, my sink is running. Oh, I'm a mess. It's running because I'm trying to thaw out that ground turkey for tonight. I am doing a what's for dinner video. It's like fall soup and I've been planning it for a sad amount of time. A couple months now. It's sad, it's sad how that happens, but I'm finally getting around to it. So there's that. So, um, I added this one in the frame too, and I just thought, oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. I have to share it with you. I'm sharing it on my Instagram. Well, just one that I'm doing, I'll share that one in a second. But I figured, oh, I know so many of you don't follow me on Instagram for whatever reason, I don't care. It's like, cool, watch me here. You can hang out with me here. Um, anyway, so, doesn't that look pretty? <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> Does anyone ever see a picture of you and then think like, is that, that's you? <laughs> that's me on my good day. There's there it is. Ah, I love it so much. It's so cute. Also, I, I need to paint my nails today. I probably won't though. So this one over here is what I'm working on. Do you, okay, hands up if you remember when I bought this frame from, I wanna say it was Home Goods. Probably it's been a year. I don't even know. Probably close to after we got the family photos done and I was like, oh, this is perfect. Look how many, maybe I bought it before. Who the heck knows? I sure don't. Uh, so I laid them all out, that's how I'm gonna do it. The most annoying part of it though is that they're individual. So I have to use my trusty butter knife. You guys know. I asked Alex, hey, what should I use? And he said butter, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, that's what we always use to get these prongs up. But uh, yeah, it's probably gonna take me mm, an hour and a half to do that, that's my expectation. There it is, all done. It took no time at all. Oh my gosh, why have I put this off for almost a year? I don't know why. I don't, you know, things just, I'm like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. And then tomorrow uh, comes a year later. So <laughs> I'm gonna hang it up. Well, there's no lighting in this hallway, but oh my gosh, so adorable. Oh, I'm so glad I finally have a couple of, uh, you know, new pictures up. It's just so sad because we walk around the house with Meredith and, you know, she's pointing at her siblings saying their names in the pictures but <laughs> there's no pictures of Meredith in the house. I mean, there's a few in the, um, like the photo albums that I make from Shutterfly, but other than that, none. But, so I just think it's so funny. It normally takes me quite some time to get the new baby. <laughs> she's almost two uh, up in the house. Anyway, it's whatever, it's what it is. Now she's up, can't say anything about it. <laughs> Okay, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. Don't forget to check out Kiwi Code. The link is in the description box below. If you want to get 50% off of your first monthly crate, kiwico.com slash the wads. Thanks so much for hanging out. If you want to subscribe, put a little happy in your drink. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>